Hello and welcome back viewers of AVG News. My name is Mkoli Sinube. Uh, I hope I find you well wherever you are. Uh, I just want to update uh, on the situation uh, in Kruger Stop. We've spoken to a few people that we know who live there and they are saying the situation is very tense, uh, especially following the rape uh, a few days ago of eight women uh, were also robbed of their possessions while they were trying to shoot a, a musical video. So we are told that there is a heavy police presence there uh, and we are also hearing that uh, there might be a deployment of the members of the South African National Defense Forces to assist the police in dealing with especially uh, illegal miners, the Zamazamas, uh, who are resident there and uh, causing havoc. Uh, so what we are getting from uh, those who live in Krukastop is that uh, the situation uh, regarding these Zamazamas has always been a, a, problem, a problematic one. Uh, there were times where they were say, they are saying that uh, usually from 6 p.m., uh, up to the rest of the night, it was very difficult uh, for people to go about doing their business uh, in the vicinity of, of this area because of these Zamazamas. There were always gunfights, uh, inter gang fights, whereby they would be shooting at one another, and they didn't care uh, whether there is a, a passerby, they would just shoot anyone, they would rob people. Uh, so, we are told that even the police were scared to go into this area so in a way these people had created their own fiefdoms whereby they wrecked havoc uh, they behaved as if they owned this particular place so the rape uh, of the eight women uh, last week was an anti-climax uh, of the already a uh, tense situation that was there for a number of years uh, 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 which is what we are hearing and the police are said to have been scared to go to this particular area until uh, pressure was applied on them by uh, the government following the rape of the eight women so we are told that uh, after the arrest uh, of 80 uh, people last week uh, after the rape uh, there has also been an ongoing police operation there and they are going to be assisted by members of the army uh, if uh, police uh, in a way uh, decide that they need to be assisted. So what we are hearing is that uh, just in Kruger's top and Randfontein yesterday, uh, a total of 46 suspects uh, were arrested uh, and one of them was fatally wounded. Uh, 700 tons of gold hairy, of gold bearing material surpassing uh, the value of 2.5 million rands uh, was uh, recovered and also five uh, five illegal plants and also 20 cell phones were seized and they're being used uh, for further uh, investigation uh, also the 80 that were arrested last week after the rape uh, of the eight women are appearing in court today and the african national congress in that particular area will be uh, demonstrating outside the court and they are saying that they are not going to allow uh, illegal people coming here to to try and control south africa which is a welcome environment if all these people that were arrested were uh, committing crimes and as we are being told uh, and these is zamazamas who have been arrested uh, the case involving zamazamas is one that we have been monitoring for some time and it indeed uh, is a welcome development that the police have at least uh, or at long last managed to account for them. We hope that this is going to happen again in different other areas where these people are wreaking havoc. So for now, this is what we had for you. Thank you very much. Continue to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it.